and Srivat Pradhan. In this video, we'll understand event-based uh, or listener-based connection in cloud application integration. You will know about uh, what is an event-based connection and a list of uh, event-based uh, connections. I'll demonstrate about uh, creating an event-based uh, app connection and uh, managing event-based uh, connection. Prerequisites uh, of the setup are basic understanding of uh, app connection in application integration and basic understanding of secure agent. Let's understand uh, how an event-based connection works. Like any other connectivity from CI, event-based connection uh, is an app connection, but uh, it will uh, get uh, to additional tabs, uh, event source and event target. You can publish it uh, on agent or cloud server based on the type of uh, the connection and its supportability. We can take an example of uh, Kafka or uh, Salesforce connection here. For uh, messaging, Kafka and Salesforce uh, have queue and platform event uh, respectively. Similarly, there is topic and push topic, etc. After um, the app connection uh, is configured, uh, you can publish it. Uh, when it is published, uh, it will create uh, one or more routes uh, associated uh, with uh, event source uh, and uh, event target. Event source uh, is also known as uh, subscriber, so consumer or reader, and uh, event target um, is um, known as um, publisher or writer. For event source, uh, the route will pull or uh, scan for messages on regular interval. If uh, it gets any message, uh, then it will deliver the message uh, towards the associated process as an input. The process uh, will be executed uh, with the pull message and the processed uh, as per business logic. Here is the list of uh, major event-based connections but there are more and the list is growing. First in the list is a file connection, which you can use to read and write file into secure agent. Amazon S3 is a popular uh, connector. You can use it uh, to read from S3 bucket and write to S3 bucket. Similarly, you have uh, FTP, SFTP connector. Kafka connection is uh, used uh, for reading streaming data from a topic. You can use the same uh, connection to write data to a topic as well. Salesforce uh, provides a uh, different messaging technology like uh, platform event, uh, push topic, CDC, etc. You can use a uh, Salesforce connector on the secure agent and uh, Salesforce streaming event uh, on the cloud server to read and write uh, to these entities. Similarly, you have other event based uh, connections like uh, Azure Service Bus, MQP and RabbitMQ. Enough of theory. Now is the time to see it in a demo. Log into IACS, open application integration service, click on new on the left hand navigation. Click on app connection, click on create. In the find box, type file, click on file, click on continue. Provide an appropriate name and choose your runtime environment, then click on save. You can see event sources tab and event targets tab. Click on event sources. If you click on add event source, you'll see a list of uh, event source available, out of which I will choose file monitor. There are many different configurations out of which uh, directory is the only required parameter. So I will provide that value and click on save. This is the location term where the app connection will try to find out the uh, presence of the files to so make sure uh, this location term is present on the secure agent. Click on properties and click on test connection. If the test connection is passed, you can publish the connection. I'm not creating even power guest uh, on this demo. Let's click on publish. After the app connection has been published, you can use the app connection uh, for uh, integrating with your process. We have created um, an app connection. Now is the time to see a demo of uh, how we can manage uh, the event based app connection. In IACS, open application integration console service, click on connections, 
From the connections or drop down, select your agent. You'll see that um, the recently created uh, connection name uh, is listed here. You can click on it uh, to expand it. You'll see that um, the event source we have just created um, is here and is in the started uh, status. Let's select it and uh, stop it uh, to stop the connection. If the connection is uh, published on a secure agent group, then you have the option to stop it on the selected uh, secure agent or stop on all the secure agents. Let's choose uh, stop only on the selected secure agent. After it has been stopped, click on OK. Now we can observe that uh, status of the event source has changed from start to stop. You can now start the stopped uh, event source. To do that, select the event source and click on start. Similarly, let's click on start only on the selected secure agent. You see that file monitor is started. Let's click on OK. Let's confirm the status of the event source is started. In this demo, you are able to manage a single event source under an app connection, but there could be multiple. And similarly, you can manage all the event source under an app connection or list of app connection. Here is the summary of what we have learned on this video. We have learned uh, what is an event-based app connection. We have understood the uh, inner working of uh, event-based app connection. We have um, got uh, the list of uh, event-based uh, app connection. Also, we saw a demo of uh, creating and managing event-based app connection. If you want to learn more, here are the additional references uh, you have about uh, creating file app connection, file connector guide and all the connectors in CAI guide. We would love to hear from you. Please reach out to support videos at the informatica.com or x.com slash infra support if you have queries or feedback for us. Thank you.